something. What's happened in Oklahoma State in the last 365 days or so, give or take a few days? Seven Big 12 Conference titles. Seven. Seven. I agree, Pete. Men's tennis, women's tennis, men's golf, women's golf, wrestling, women's soccer, men's basketball, regular season and tournament, by the way, both. And then there was that cotton bowl thing. First time in more than 50 years we've been to a New Year's Day bowl game. First cotton bowl appearance in about 60 years. That wasn't too bad. And on the national stage, by the way, a national wrestling championship. Two in a row, 32nd in Oklahoma State history. Last spring, a national championship in the Western discipline in equestrian. They'll try to do it again this spring. Runner up in the NCAA Men's Ball Championship. This Western town here at Carson Creek. And of course, our men's basketball team in the Sweet 16 on its way to a national basketball championship. Steve, what do you think? 
Okay? That was easy. What about transferring a little home to Spain? We talk so many times about the chance to play on a team like this. I know for you it's been great fun, huh? Yeah, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a big part of the big family. The program is all just part of the big family. It's a great thing. Friends will have a life on this team, huh? Yeah, that's uh, part of the journey. The friendship that will uh, carry it out for a lot of life. Great group of guys. And, uh, Daniel Bobby. Not to be biased against any of the other players in their performances, but I have to tell you that for me, that four minute stretch in the Big 12 Championship game in Dallas was played by this player. This for you, I know, because of the things you did with Oklahoma State, all of the injuries you had in Dallas when you were doing this year, I know it certainly means even more to you, perhaps, than anyone in this building. I definitely have to